Hey guys! So in one of my previous videos, I asked you guys if you would be interested in seeing my college hair routine. So I've kind of put together a seven day video on how I take care of my hair throughout the week here in college. I'll show you my wash routine, um, the products I use for my wash routine, and how I basically refresh my hair throughout the week. I don't do much. I try to keep it as minimal as possible just because I have so many other things going on. So if you're interested in seeing my short and simple weekly hair routine, just keep watching this video. Okay, so day one is my wash day and it's usually on a Sunday. And it takes me a little while so I like to listen to music. And the very first thing I do of course is shampoo. And I like to use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. After shampooing, I like to condition and detangle my hair with the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tangle Conditioner. And I love this conditioner because it has so much slip and it's so easy to detangle my hair and it's really cheap as well. It's like $4 at Trader Joe's. It also has peppermint and eucalyptus in it which really helps to make the scalp feel so good. And after conditioning, I like to follow up with my deep conditioner, which is the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. This is definitely one of my favorites, and it smells so freaking good. After applying the mask to my hair, I will just throw on a plastic cap as well as my hair therapy wrap which is basically a microwavable um, deep conditioning cap and I love it so much. I got it on Amazon and I will put the link in the description box below so you can see where to get it as well. And after letting that sit for about 30 minutes to an hour, I will just go ahead and rinse out my hair. So lately I've noticed that doing twist outs right after I wash my hair has helped me to keep my style longer throughout the week. So twist outs have been my go-to style lately and I will go ahead and link the video to my full twist out routine so you can watch that. Then after twisting, I'll just let my hair air dry overnight and then in the morning on day two, which is technically first day hair for this style, I'll just take out my twist and use my pick to fluff out my hair and then I have my first day hair. So now it's day three and technically it's second day hair and I just like to use virgin coconut oil to refresh my curls. I don't do much more than that, just kind of rubbing the oil between my hands and fluffing it through my hair to help give it shine and moisture. So now it's day four and I do the exact same thing on day four. I'll just grab my virgin coconut oil and rub it between my fingers and put it throughout my hair to help refresh my curls. Really simple and really easy. The only thing about day four is that my curls do start to lose a little bit of their definition just from being in the bonnet overnight and stuff. So usually by the end of day four, um, I decide to kind of refresh my curls, not completely. I'm kind of lazy about it, so I'll grab my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Styling Lotion and I will just retwist the top of my head only. So first I'll spray a little bit of water on my hair just to make it a little bit more movable and then I will apply the styling lotion and then I will detangle my hair with my Dim Dim brush and then I'll just begin twisting. So this is literally the most work that I do throughout the entire week and I only do five twists because I feel like the front is the only thing that's really that important. <laughs> then I'll just throw on my satin bonnet to sleep in and then I'm all good to go for the next day.
So now it's the morning of day five and the front of my head is nicely retwisted and refreshed and ready to go. So I'll just take some coconut oil and refresh the back of my head only. So then after I finish refreshing the back, then I'll just start taking out the twist on the top. Then of course I'll take my favorite tool of all time, my handy dandy green pick, and I will start to pick out the twist on the top to give my hair a little bit more value. So after picking and fluffing, my hair is nicely refreshed at the top. It looks like I did it all completely over again, but I didn't. And that's why I love taking this shortcut. Now it's the morning of day six and I literally don't do anything at all. I don't even put more coconut oil on. My hair is pretty much moisturized enough at this point. So I just kind of fluff it out until it's in the shape that I like and I'm good to go. Really simple, really easy day on day six. So now it's day seven and my hair is completely and utterly annoying and itchy and just like, I just hate day seven. So usually on day seven, I'll wash my hair, but if I don't feel like it or I need an extra day, I'll grab my head wrap and I'll just rock this head wrap for today or for the next two or three days, depending on how many more days I need to get my life together to do my wash day again. So after head wrap day, my hair routine basically repeats itself and I go back to wash day. So I hope that you found this video helpful if you need any shortcuts in your hair routine. And don't forget to check out the description box for any information you may need on this video. And thanks again for watching. See ya!